welcome to The Palette Show. Today, we'll be talking about the most recent U.S. election for president and the general concept of American exceptionalism. Why are we talking about this today? The other day, I was at the checkout counter at Ralph's, and I saw, I believe they call it a white soy boy cup or something like that, buying a bottle of champagne on the eve of the election. So presumably, if Joe Biden won, he and his friends would be popping this champagne. Now this was in the middle of Hollywood, and I was absolutely appalled by this sight. Not only was it a disgusting type of champagne, but the fact that he would even buy champagne as though there would be something to celebrate when our country is in shambles. And what's happening? We're just choosing another oligarch versus another one, another pedophile versus another one. And the truth is that America is an evil empire. There was nothing on the ballot that said, let's end that empire. I brought some guests right here. I have Chris, Chris Kotoyan, a local businessman from Tarzana, California. He's a well-known Facebook conservative poster. Maverick, he is a democratic socialist. Savannah Winans, she's an anarchist. So, welcome everybody, welcome to the show. Thanks for having us. Uh, thank you, thank you. So, who did you vote for, Chris? First, I want to point out that that's obviously a obvious sign of some issues happening in our elector, electoral system here we have in the United States. I, for one, got my uh, ballot in the mail. Of course, I surrendered it at the polls on election day because I only trust what happens at the polls. Um, you know, I obviously uh, gave my vote to uh, Donald J. Trump and uh, Pence, I think that they uh, they had a pretty pretty good uh, you know 2016 to 2020, and I thought they could bring it back to make America great again again. Unfortunately, as we're seeing right now, we're in a whirlwind with some problems and some ballot counting issues we're experiencing around the country, specifically in. Uh, Swing states. So, uh, when he says make America great again, is he talking about the 90s? Honestly, I don't know what he's talking about. You're the first Trump supporter I've literally talked to, like at length, and like taken a shot with in years. Uh, and it's nice to meet you. I have like literally nothing to do with people across the vast majority of the United States. All of us shouldn't be voting for the same person in the first place. We don't have any say in the control systems they're implementing. It's crazy when I see stuff like, if you voted for Trump, unfollow me. People are not talking to their family members because of it. And it's like such a shame. Yeah. Such a shame. Like, your family, your blood, your blood is so much thicker than American politics. Internet as a utopian ideal is like free communication, all that. And there's been a lot of good. But also, I just don't think I was meant to be able to talk to someone on Facebook from like Delaware or like from the South. I just don't think that's wired into human brains. I don't think it's good for anyone. Uh, why? Why? Because like we are, we have tribal brains, uh, and our tribes now extend globally. And that basic human connection, like eye contact, is like a basic human like intuition that is completely stripped away. I think it's great that we're all sitting here talking about this together. So, so I do agree with you. It's 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 interesting how you know it's like your first time speaking with someone from you know who supports Trump, but it doesn't happen more often. And I think yeah. it does, it should be happening more often, I think. But democracy is absolutely not real. It's just a bunch of people up there, like billionaires, playing games. They're literally like playing a little video game with the whole country, the whole world. And we have nothing to do with them. It's a joke to think we have anything to do with them or have any say in it. I also want to point out that uh, I respect them. In terms of the icon stuff, I have noticed it's really prevalent with people like above the age of 30, 40, 50, 60, and someone once told me this, and it's because they've watched so much superhero movies. Literally, all these antagonist-protagonist bullshit movies, 
that have just fucked up their brains and made it into cheese, you know? Cheese, yeah. That just loves these storylines, and they <laughs> yeah. just get played uh, by the media. People are always prone to think that the time they're living in is the most pressing time, and that's because it's modern. But they're like, things have never been like this before, and it's true. always true, and it's true now. And maybe it's exponential, but I don't know if I really believe that. It's just like, things are always going to seem extreme. I do respect that as a that. as a conservative like Facebook forum. poster. Yeah. She was actually kind of straight up blunt and honest with it. Whether you're someone who's saying made America, make America great again, or you're that guy buying the bottle of cheap champagne at Ralph's, you think there's something to celebrate about this country. You think there's something great to get back to. Right? Like, what is the person buying the champagne saying? He is saying make America he is, because before, he's saying that before Trump it was great, but it wasn't, it wasn't. But you don't know that unless you're poor. That's what it comes down to. Unless you're a marginalized minority. Look, Alec, I want to be completely honest with you. I like Trump, right? I, I voted for Trump. And I don't hate Mexicans. Murder is like a human to human interaction. Um, and it's not anymore, and having that like detachment it creates this form of safety. Even people think that like that type of murder is safer, but it's still exactly the same thing. It's just not happening between humans anymore. It's happening between like a machine and a human. Correct. So it's not perceived the same way. Um, and it should just be person to person. Like I would rather if Trump or any President Obama, Bush, anyone is going to kill someone, they should like have to like experience that, mm -hmm. like do it as a human. The pressure. Yeah. Um, because I don't think that murder is a completely avoidable thing. Obviously, it's very bad, but it's much worse when it's not between two people, when it's not like being a natural thing. You know? very, it's a very bad point. Yeah. But how do you feel about the fact that they're all murderers? Like, is that just how it works in your mind and they have to play that part to a certain degree? Who? All of the presidents. This is what I meant where you don't want to think about it. Would you guys take testosterone? For why? Oh, for just for in general. For in general, it's so a subject that I. Okay, okay, okay. Times, yeah. Okay. okay, you think they're on tea? They're for sure giving them testosterone in the cocktail of drugs with others. I would not. I think my boyish frame is a uh, major uh, aspect of my attraction to people. Uh, right now? Yeah. I mean, not for the sexual side. I would love to take some testosterone. So you would take some testosterone? Well. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I mean, if they're on it, it would be better for me. But. Right? Like, you're thinking of the mental kind of like the alphaness that will come with it potentially. Yeah. yeah. That's what I was thinking. Well, I was thinking about like, muscles and sexual. So, yeah, I think sexual virility should be an aspect we consider the presidential candidate. Yes. Yeah. Oh, man, I feel bad for you. Well, Trump presumably has fucked his daughter. Could be. Could be. He, does, he did say she's hot. Mm. What would you do, Playboy, put Ivanka on the cover of the magazine? This is going to be an interesting answer. <laughs> I don't think Ivanka would do that inside the magazine, although she does have a very nice figure. I've said that if Ivanka weren't my daughter, perhaps I'd be dating her. There's beautiful, many weird photos of them together. Oh, for sure. Uh, I don't know. Like, to sure. me, that's very disturbing. The way he describes her, um, everything. She's a beautiful girl. Yeah. Beautiful and I think his attraction would be that he just sees himself. And it would be a way of sleeping with himself without being gay, so he would go for it. Now, let me, let me be honest there, honest, real quick. Mm. Maybe he uses the Viagra to be with her. Maybe she's not enjoying it. There's I, no I highly she's doubt she's enjoying it. Let's be honest. I think, first of all, both of them are rapists. That's just a fact. Pedophiles? Yes. Um, Definitely. Uh, will we ever have a non-pedophile president? You know what? I I have optimism in this country. I think yeah. Yeah, I think so too. Absolutely. No, as long as the president is the same title as it is now, they're all going to be pedophiles or like essentially like somewhere psychologically sort of pedophiles. I don't yeah. even think they're like, um, like psychologically pedophiles in the way right. that some people are. I think they're just on this trip, of, like a whole power trip of just being able. To the media pulled a fast one on us in the very beginning because it was all about is Biden inappropriately touching women, adult women. They got ahead of it and 
framed it as an issue with adult women as opposed to an issue that extends to children. Because like if they just limit it to adult women, it's more um, digestible for the American people. They love that kind of stuff. They love voting in rapists. And I am not anywhere an Obama supporter. But I'll be honest, I don't think Obama was ever a pedophile. I don't think yeah, he was. So. so I think we have. Maybe. I don't think he was a pedophile. I think Hillary he was a pedophile. Hillary Clinton was a pedophile. Bill Clinton was a pedophile. Hillary Clinton was a pedophile. But she wasn't the president. You know, you know she, what I mean? Well, I'm saying would have elected a pedophile potentially. The best case scenario, she's defending a pedophile for like. She's defending a president. Yeah. Yeah. I, I guess the Republican people are But he's not an as not a pedophile as like any of us are. You correct. Know? Because he associates with them, he's friends with them, he just knows about it. And like to some degree, too much association. That's completely condoned. He's associated with them. Yeah. Yeah. Um, because mentally they're still in that state. Like they never got the like fucking around, like, oh, I'm gonna go on like grinder or something yeah. as a high schooler because they're afraid because they want to be president. Um, You're too old to have grinder. And I certainly certainly wouldn't trust them not to want to fuck children. Personally, I don't, you know, want uh, people under like 15. I, I respect that. I just want to throw it out there. I don't think it's right to touch an adult woman or a child or a grandma without having a consent, right? Of course, you want to grow up, you want to hug your grandma. But this is a little more past that hugging stage we're talking about. It's, a, it's something I don't want to think about, yeah. even though it's there, but I, I don't want to think about it. We can both agree on that. Yeah. Let's segue to another topic. Uh, if you had to be locked in a room with one of them and you could not leave and the lights were off Yeah And it's just you and, an, and one of them, either Trump or Biden, okay? Mm -hmm. Who would you pick? And then like what would you say or do to make it less awkward? <laughs> <laughs> My gut instinct is I would rather be locked in a room with Trump, to be honest Okay Biden really creeps me out and I do not, I don't really have much to say to him um, hey man. But with Trump I could yell, you know, with Trump I could at least yell and he wouldn't perceive it as awkward. Yeah. I would just feel really bad about it. No, you're so yelling like, at an old, like, invalid. Yeah. I'd rather uh, yell at someone either way. Yeah. I would be, like, fighting that motherfucker. I would be, like, yeah. kind of, like, let me climb on top of him and get him down just for the hell of it. Yeah, I'd go with Trump, too. Yeah. I would take a picture of his, like, flaccid dick and publish it and how did his dick come out of nowhere? No, 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 I, I pulled down his dick. I pulled his dick out and I took a picture of it and posted it. And I, I say that because I think that would speak to his base and get them to not like him as much. And I Why? Think, they all have small dicks no, they too. Well, no, I think it, because that kind of like primal language is like, you know, your big man has a tiny dick. I think that hits on a level that he's been resonating with for four years. It's kind of like a weird daddy complex, I feel like. You know what I mean? Like, if you've ever seen your dad's dick, like, I, I saw a picture of my dad at, like, Burning Man, like, in a poncho with his, like, little dick hanging out. It affected my child's psychology. I would go with Trump. I am Armenian, but honestly, he's stronger. I'd rather have that or I'll have a louder guy. Would you and try what to befriend him? Like, what would you do to make, I mean, not if make it awkward? I mean, if I'm stuck in the room, I'm gonna have to befriend someone. I'd be like, look, first of all, where the fuck are we? Number two, we need Marriott. You know, like, have some more you, so don't hurt me, you know? Yeah. I'm mm. on your side, don't hurt me. Mm. So you're scared of him? I mean, who knows? <laughs> so if we're stuck in a room, afraid of him you said, yeah. 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 yeah, we were like, yeah. Yeah. Well, well, the way you said, the way you said is, we don't know if we're, Make honestly, I would have a conversation about, like, about Just about everything, how it was to be the president. If you had to fuck one of them. Well, it's gonna have, I'm gonna have to go with Biden, bro. Go He's just not gonna remember, man, the next day. He's actually gonna be there. <laughs> He's gonna be like, what happened, man? I don't know, man. Like you said, I don't wanna get crushed, dude. Would you pitch or catch? Oof. Oh, no. Uh, oh, shit, man. What are you doing? Come on, man. I'm pitching. I'm pitching. All right. Chris wants to fuck Joe Biden. Honestly, same. You'd pitch as well. I don't know. I might wanna get popped by Biden. Oh, I see. Yeah. yeah. Why would you be saying shit like, um, just like old people shit? Yeah. This like, is, oh, fuck, this your, is your hoop-hop feels so good. It's not Biden because he creeps me out so much. Mm -hmm. 
Obviously Trump is creepy, but I can just be like, this is fucking absurd. Like, I hate this man. There is more of it. You can yeah. associate. Yeah, I can yeah. see yeah. that. Yeah. I can totally see that. But with Biden, it just be like, you know, like, a little more quality. Like, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yes. yeah. I also would love to pitch in this situation. <laughs> yes. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Are any of them gay, secretly? I don't know if there are any gays with I politics. don't think so. Yeah, I just don't think it's compatible. No, no, there are gays in politics. Gays high up in politics? Yeah, like senators. Are they're probably like the type of gays who uh, just want to be like a, like a man and a wife anyways, but you both have the same parts, you know? Yeah, yeah. I mean, fair it's enough. Yeah. I think being a career politician, you deny yourself like pleasures like that. Uh, for fear of like fucking up early. Like I think even, you know, I wanna be president when I'm in high school, like you're very much regulating like who you open yourself up to. They kind of keep themselves like chaste until they get old and actually in power and then they let it all rip on like children usually is how it goes. Cause it's a, yeah, it's a very like uh, manicured life. Right. What color do you think it is? His penis specifically. Oof. This is a little Jesus. This is a hard one. I think it's uh yeah, I don't think it. he would get a nude spray tan. I think there's probably a lot. Yeah, it might be it yeah. might be I think he doesn't take his boxers off when he I don't think no, so. No, no. I don't think he can. Do you think he dyes his pubes the same color as his hair? I actually absolutely think so. Yeah, I think right, it would be his like, vanity would extend. I, I, I think yeah. it extends like I, throughout, like with the tanning as well. I think it's a spray tan that just hits it and it just stays that color. But the spray tan on the penis would mean that it rubs off on his partners. He doesn't That's have How many partners, though? Yeah. No, no, he definitely pays for sex. That's, yeah. Who do you Human think has the bigger penis of the two? Ooh. Whoa. I would honestly give Trump having a large penis. I don't know, I, I, mean, like, I, I mean, that's completely inconsequential to his politics, but... I don't know about that. He's so really? old. Don't they shrivel? Mm. I think they're both yeah. shrivel. I, I mean, I think they're both the same size, to be fair. I, I don't think Biden has a small penis. I will say that. Um, posting is not activism. Posting is feelings and virtue signaling. And virtue signaling is the newest form of patriotism. So please, if you truly want to make this a better country, don't be patriotic. Don't be patriotic. Be introspective. And stop radiating constantly messages to people about what you think is right and wrong. You live a right existence. Okay, start from there. Don't go popping the champagne when you have nothing to lose for either outcome. Have some humility, have some understanding of what's going on. Have some understanding that 40 million Americans are unemployed right now, whether who's one person is gonna be the president or the other person. So uh, thank you for another day at the Palak Show. Thank you to our guests. Thank you very much for coming. Thank you, for us. Uh, thank, you thank you. And uh, we've solved so many good problems here. And <laughs> we'll see you next time. It was great to have us all together. Thank you. Thank you. Hoorah. Hoorah. Oh my God. 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 Are you kidding me? But. I mean, Biden wanted to smell Lady Gaga's beautiful platinum hair on that stage two days before, or the day before election. I bet it doesn't smell good. You're a Reagan guy. I like Reagan a lot. Yeah, you're Reagan. Reagan. even though Reagan set up all this shit. Fair enough, he did. Today we're living through.